Hey guys, it's Pastor Dave with just a small bit of information for you. I've been here in Mark chapter 6, just trying to get ready for the Sunday sermon. And I've come upon a passage that really struck me in verse 4. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own country, among his own relatives, and in his own house. It's a disappointing thing. Jesus now takes time off the road, visiting with his disciples, comes home to his hometown. And you'd imagine he'd get this tremendous parade and all this recognition from all that he's done. Unfortunately, they view him as the kid next door, the guy down the street, the one who made the table for me that we still have in our house. And because of that, they saw him as a mere man. They resented the fact that he didn't have education, that he wasn't a scholar, he was teaching very high-minded things, and they were wondering, where did he get this information since he's not a scholar? He's just a carpenter. And they know of his miracles, and it was far and wide. In fact, Jesus did some miracles while he was there, but he wasn't able to do many because of their lack of faith. And I think, my goodness, what a terrible thing. Jesus comes home, and they don't recognize him for who he is. They don't esteem him for the words he says or for the miracles that he's able to do. They just see the kid next door, the one who may have repaired something in my home, and they don't hear God's words coming from him. They hear the words of a common person who they're familiar with, and they don't hear the voice of God. Part of that is the condition of their heart, but part of that is because Jesus was so familiar to them that they weren't able to hear the message because all they saw was the messenger. We can be guilty of the same thing when someone tells us something difficult to hear or something that's true and we know it's true, but we don't want to admit it or to submit to it. Be careful. Be careful today that as you go through life and as you listen to people and open yourselves up, that you look for the voice of God speaking to you through the frail and instruments of his, perhaps a crayon, perhaps a marker or a pencil, might wish to write upon your heart something that God wants you to know. And so for us to be sensitive that Jesus came as a common man, but because we did not recognize him for who he was, we missed entering into life. I don't want to be among that number. I'm sure you don't either. It's my hope that you have a great day and that this might inspire you to put your ear to the ground and your eye up to hear and to see him. Amen.